isn't easy, but it's worth the price. Love isn't easy, but it's worth the try. Love isn't easy, but it's worth the price you pay. It just takes a little if you do it right. It just takes a little bit of compromise. It just takes a little if you do it right away. And I'm lucky, and I don't know why. We got a good thing going. Yes, a good thing going. And it's easy to start letting things slide. Let's keep a good thing going. We got a good thing going. Yeah. Got a good thing going. Yes, a good thing going. And it's easy to start letting things slide. Let's keep a good thing going. We got a good thing going. Right through love is a choir singing
Are we good? Tess. Turning me off, turning me on. Tess, one, two. If I could get everybody's attention real quick, I'll kind of explain our proceedings this evening. All right, y'all come on in. Anybody's in the, in the uh, hallways or lobbies, if you want to jump in here. You don't have to go to the edges. You can get in the middle. It's okay. All right. I want to welcome everybody here tonight. Uh, we uh, really appreciate you coming to support the family of Mary Ann Smith Williams. Uh, she was a charter member of this church and always ministering to so many people. So she's greatly loved uh, and we, we certainly miss her. I wanted to just uh, kind of give you a kind of the lay of the land tonight, but um, before I do that, I, I wanted to. Um, well, again, just say thanks, uh, but to, to tell you that you're about to experience the first of its kind, as far as I know, uh, this is not the funeral service some of you came to expect, uh, but uh, all of Mary Ann's family were agreed that they didn't want to have another funeral service. We had a, a wonderful funeral service on Thursday uh, out at the graveside. Um, it was a great time of encouragement from God's Word, a great time of prayer, a great time of singing to the Lord. Uh, I think everybody was greatly uh, blessed by it. But we didn't want to do the same thing again here. What we want to do here is have a reception, a reception in honor of the life of Mary Ann Williams. And uh, we want to enjoy this time, but we need each other so badly that we want to um, have a time where you can just mingle. So if any, at any point we see y'all lining up to talk to Dexter or anybody else, we're going to blow the whistle and bust up the line, okay? You, you have to just mingle to Dexter. You can't come in a line. Right, Dexter? Right, all right. Uh, Dexter said him and Marianne had talked about it for the last five years. That's not what they wanted. They wanted a, a, a reception like this so you can, you can mingle back and forth. Some people have already asked, well, can we have more chairs? No, we can't have more chairs because we want you to stand up and mingle. Okay, that's, that's part of the whole, whole idea tonight. Uh, but thanks for coming and being a part of, of this reception. I wanted to read uh, a page out of this Bible. You can see it's fallen apart. I'm not sure how she used it, but it is full of notes. And in the back, there's a note section. I'm going to leave it down here. I, I, I copied it uh, so that you can uh, see it. But... Um, in the back of her Bible is a page that I've copied that has her Marianne's testimony on it. And I want to I read that. It also had her favorite songs, most of which we did in our service here this morning. Rock of Ages. If you could see me now, we did it at the gravesite. Shout to the Lord. Um, a lot of good songs there that Marianne had written. But then she had her favorite scripture. We also did it this morning, but I want to read it again. Uh, to us tonight. Well, let me just say before I, I forget my announcement, I gave an announcement this morning. Uh, Joshua Williams is in here somewhere. I saw you come in. There you are. Um, in our service this morning, uh, Joshua was told uh, that he had tested positive Friday for COVID. Uh, and so I announced that this morning that uh, if you didn't uh, feel safe to come tonight, uh, not because, you know, we wanted to have a way for Joshua to be here, but uh, warn everybody else. Um, two hours after that announcement this morning, uh, Joshua gets a call from the CDC nurse at Prisma where he had the test and says, you're no longer contagious. Well, I don't understand how these tests work and don't work. Uh, but apparently the explanation I understood was uh, over 14 days ago, he... Uh, thought he was exposed and um, uh, tested for it and tested negative. A, late, a little bit later on, he tests negative again. Last Friday, he tests for the third time and he tested positive. And their explanation was, you had it over 14 days ago, but you had such a small amount of the virus that it didn't show up until now, but now it showed up to the, at the level where it's no longer contagious. So... Uh, that's what we know. So, uh, but anyway, uh, services like this where we want to support one another and hug have been uh, known throughout our nation as 
as, as times where we need to be cautious. So we encourage you to, to uh, show the, the amount of caution you feel necessary for the people you're talking to. There's a lot of people in this room that mourn and grieve uh, the passing of Mary Ann. Um, and we want to spend time with each of you. But let me read, first of all, here, this passage of Scripture, Mary Ann listed as her favorite. It comes out of Isaiah 43, 7 verses. But now, thus says the Lord, your Creator, O Jacob, and He who formed you, O Israel, do not fear, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by name. You are mine. I just love that. I can imagine Jesus welcoming Mary Ann and calling her by name. Mary Ann. Mary Ann. You're mine. You're mine. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And through the rivers, they will not overflow you. And when you walk through the fire, you will not be scorched, nor will flame burn you. I'm the Lord your God. I'm the Holy One of Israel, your Savior. I've given Egypt as your ransom, Cush and Sheba in your place, since you are precious in my sight. It's hard to believe, but our God says, I've, I've passed over other people for you. You're mine. You're precious in my sight. Since you are honored and I love you, I will give other men in your place and other peoples in exchange for your life. Don't fear. I am with you. I will bring your offspring from the east and gather you from the west. I will say to the north, give them up. And to the south, don't hold them back. Bring my sons from afar. Bring my daughters from the ends of the earth. Everyone who is called by my name and whom I have created for my glory, whom I have formed, even whom I have made. What a testimony that that's her favorite verse. Not only is it a rejoicing in God's redemption of her, but it's a rejoicing in God's redemption of her household. Um, and uh, she was a great prayer warrior for her household and seeing them one by one come to know the Lord. Well, here's her testimony. These are her words. Quote, written in the back of her Bible, testimony of God's grace to me. When I was 20 years old, I realized that I knew about Jesus because I had been in church for 20 years but did not have a personal relationship with Him. I bowed and I surrendered to Him on May 13, 1976. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I said at the graveside, I'll say it again. Good news. You know it. It's all about love. God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in Him will not perish, but have everlasting life. Mary Ann Williams did not perish. She has everlasting life because she believed in Jesus. Whosoever believes in Him will not perish. Why? Because God loves us. God's everlasting loving nature to protect us and take us to Himself. We're His. What a blessing. Today's going to be a reception day of celebrating the life of Mary Ann. It's not going to be near as good as the reception Mary Ann gets in heaven. The half has not been told there. Let me pray for us. Let's pray together. Lord Jesus, we thank you for the food provided. We thank you for the fellowship that's here in this room, for all the many folks who have come to bring their support, all who have come to fellowship together in suffering, those who have come to pray, those who have come to stimulate unto good works, those who've come to hear the gospel that comes from the pages of Mary Ann's Bible. Lord, we thank you for this time. We ask your blessing upon it that many would be encouraged and strengthened through the reception here, and not only through uh, the words that have been spoken, will be spoken through the songs, through the food, Lord, mostly through your spirit. We ask that you would speak to us, that we would see in the midst of mourning life lost to us, precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of his godly ones. How sweet it is to know you look forward to us coming home. Lord, that separates us from the world. We're people who know where we're going. We're coming home to you, Jesus. We ask your supremacy that you would be exalted in this place 
And we ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. Uh, there's going to be, just as I leave the stage, uh, like a two-minute testimony. It's only audio, so you don't have to see anything. There will be a picture, I think, on the wall behind me. An audio of testimonies of the family. So I want you to hear that. After those testimonies, uh, our worship team uh, is going to play some of Marianne uh, Williams' favorite music. She loved to get up here on stage and play her mandolin. And uh, so they've, they've picked some of the, her mandolin favorite uh, songs that they're going to sing. You can participate. You can sing along with them. You can go ahead and start eating and mingling. It's a reception, okay? And you can have uh, fun with that. So I hope you'll enjoy this time. Let's, let's listen to the family's testimonies, and then you're free to move about the cabin. All right? Good. Mama always told us that she grew up in the church prayed, and thought she was a Christian. When she was 20 years old, she was asked to share her testimony at church, and she made up a story that sounded good and had everyone fooled, but realized that she did not have a personal relationship with the Lord. On May 13, 1976, she bowed and surrendered her heart and her life to Jesus Christ. And from that moment on, her life was devoted to serving and living for her Savior. Philippians 1.21, For me to live is Christ, and to die is gain. The Lord working through her life was not just being good and going to church. Instead, it grew in her life His love. For giving people who had wronged her, she also had kindness and generosity. She could whoop up a meal in just a few minutes to anyone in need. She loved so many people and anyone who wanted to talk or just get a hug. She had her arms open. Her gentle and quiet spirit comforted so many people in just a time that they were struggling. She was a servant and she was not only a servant, but also had the best sense of humor. Her laughter was contagious, especially when she told parrot jokes. She was a constant teacher. She taught her children how to drive, cook, sew, knit, to be a leader, to pray through any circumstance, to stay humble, and always use an opportunity to serve. She loved her students, whether at home, a preschool classroom, or a Bible study she was leading. Isaiah 43, 1-7 But now, thus says the Lord, o your Creator, O Jacob, and He who formed you, O Israel, do not fear, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by name, you are mine. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And through the rivers, they will not overflow you. When you walk through the fire, you will not be scorched, nor the flames burn you. For I am the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, your Savior. I have given Egypt as your ransom. Crush and save it are your place. Since you are precious in my sight, since you are honored and I love you, I will never, I will give other men in your place, other people in exchange for your life. Do not fear, for I am with you. I will bring your offspring from the east and gather you from the west. I will say to the north, give them up, and to the south, do not hold them back. Bring my sons from afar and my daughters from the ends of the earth. Everyone who is called by my name and, I, and whom I have created for my glory, whom I have formed, even whom I have made. She was devoted to Daddy for 44 years. They loved serving together and going on adventures. Us children and grandchildren will forever be blessed by her love and life and the legacy she left to us. Have you ever heard of a grandmother that goes on your high school retreats with you? My Grammy did. She would get in the ocean with us and go on boats even if it was the shark's house. She drove a 15 passenger van and sang to the top of her lungs with us. She was my person in happy and sad times. She was my prayer warrior, listening ear, and words of guidance. I hope that I can be even just a fraction 
of the godly woman that she was and strived to be every day of her life. Marianne was mother and grandmother to many, and her life can't be summed up in just a few words, but we know beyond a shadow of a doubt who she served and where she is. Jesus was Lord of her life, and he has brought her to his side and has said, Well done, good and faithful servant. Grammy is in heaven. I love you. Are you? And, and there it is. So as we celebrate the, the wonderful life of Mary Ann Williams, we celebrate also the gospel of Jesus Christ in whom she trusted. And what's, what's a better style of music to celebrate the gospel than some good old bluegrass? And uh, about a year and a half ago, we had Bluegrass Week uh, here at New Covenant. And uh, for Sunday morning worship, we played some of these just favorite bluegrass songs that celebrated Christ and uh, the blood uh, that he shed on the cross for us and the life that he rose to victorious life for us. And, and Marianne joined this ragtag group right here, and, and she played her mandolin. And so we're going to play those songs again that we played with her uh, last year. So just invite you. We're going to play a couple songs, and we've got a couple of videos we want to share with you. And we'll play a couple more songs. We invite you to celebrate uh, just the life of Marianne, but also the life of our Savior, Jesus Christ, and what he did for us. Uh, so feel free to sing along, mingle, stomp your foot, clap your hands, eat some food, and um, we're going to enjoy and celebrate together.
precious blood atoned me, and I repented of my sin and won the victory. Oh, victory in Jesus, my Savior. cleansing power revealing how he made the lame to walk again and cause the blind to see and then I cried dear Jesus come and heal my broken spirit and somehow Jesus came and brought to me the victory So, I'd invite you to draw your attention to the screen here. While we share some videos here. Okay, okay. there we go. Okay, could I have your attention, please? So this third video that we're going to watch here is a special video from Marianne's mandolin teacher, Herman Tolls, who uh, he had been working with Marianne for the last couple of years. 
and had been working with her on mandolin. And so he has sent this special video of a song that he had been teaching Marianne. So I hope you enjoy.
Nothing but the blood. 